Hello, so we're also reading today from uh, Mark chapter 15, and we'll be reading in the uh, message, which is a paraphrase by Eugene Peterson. At dawn's first light, the high priests with the religious leaders and scholars arranged a conference with the entire Jewish council. After tying Jesus securely, they took him out and presented him to Pilate. Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? He answered, if you say so. The high priests let loose a barrage of accusations. Pilate asked again, aren't you going to answer anything? That's quite a list of accusations. Still, he said nothing. Pilate was impressed, really impressed. It was a custom of the, at the feast to release a prisoner, anyone the people asked for. There was a prisoner called Barabbas, locked up with the insurrectionists who had committed murder during the uprising against Rome. As the crowd came up and began to present its position, petition for him to release a prisoner, Pilate anticipated them. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews to you? Pilate knew by this time that it was through sheer spite that the high priests had turned Jesus over to him. But the high priests by then had worked up the crowd to ask for the release of Barabbas. Pilate came back. So what do I do with this man you call the king of the Jews? They yelled, nail him to a cross. Pilate objected. But for what crime? But they yelled all the louder, nail him to a cross. Pilate gave the crowd what it wanted, set Barabbas free, and turned Jesus over for whipping and crucifixion. The soldiers took Jesus into the palace called Praetorium and called together a, in the entire brigade. They dressed him up in purple, put a crown uh, plated with a thorn bush on his head. Then they began their mockery. Bravo, King of the Jews. They banged on his head with a club, spit on him, and knelt down in mock worship. After they had their fun, they took off the purple cape and put on his clothes back on him. Then they marched out to nail him to the cross. There was a man walking by, coming from work, Simon from Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. They made him carry Jesus's cross. The soldiers brought Jesus to Golgotha, meaning Skull Hill. They offered him a mild painkiller, wine mixed with myrrh, but he wouldn't take it and they nailed him to the cross. They divided up his clothes and threw dice to see what, who would get them. They nailed him up at nine o'clock in the morning. The charge against him, the king of the Jews, was printed on a poster. Along with him, they crucified two criminals, one to his right, the other to his left. People passing along the road jeered, shaking their heads in mock lament. You bragged that you could tear down the temple and then rebuild it in three days. So show us your stuff. Save yourself. If you're really God's son, come down from that cross. The high priests, along with the religion scholar, scholars, were right there, mixing it up with the rest of them, having a great time poking fun at him. He saved others, but he can't save himself. Messiah is he, king of Israel? Then let him climb down from that cross. We'll all become believers then. Even the men crucified alongside him joined in the mockery. At noon, the sky became extremely dark. The darkness lasted three hours. At three o'clock, Jesus groaned out of the depths, crying loudly, Eloi, Eloi, lama sakvatani, which means, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Some of the bystanders who heard him said, listen, he's calling for Elijah. Someone ran off, soaked a sponge in sour wine, wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, let's see if Elijah comes to take him down. But Jesus, with a loud cry, gave his last breath. At that moment, the temple curtain ripped down the middle. When the Roman captain standing guard in front of him saw he had quit breathing, he said, this has to be the son of God. There were women watching from a distance, among them Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of the younger James and, and Joseph and Salome. When Jesus was in Galilee, these women followed and served him and had come up with him to Jerusalem. Late in the afternoon, since it was the day of preparation, that is, Sabbath Eve, Joseph of Arimathea, a highly respected member of the Jewish council, came. He was, the, he was one who lived expectantly on the out lookout for the kingdom of God. Working up his courage, he went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. 
pilot questioned whether he could be dead that soon and called for the captain to verify that he really was dead. Assured by the captain, he gave Joseph the corpse. Having already purchased a linen shroud, Joseph took him down, wrapped him in the shroud, placed him in a tomb that had been cut into the rock and rolled a large stone across the opening. Mary Magdalene and M Mary, mother of Joseph, watched the burial. Mark chapter 15 in the message paraphrase. <clears throat> 